free shot. <laughs> serendipitous that we have a few beautiful bright sunshiny day out there today yeah. yeah and we have all of this energy in here you take that sunshine and energy and what do you got renewable energy that's what I do for the power company I am in the renewable energy department and I want to talk to you today about renewable energy because I'm so passionate and enthusiastic about it and because if I do then Jeffrey will stop twisting my arm behind my back <laughs> I'll tell you about it. <laughs> now I want to let you know that uh, these what I'm going to talk to you about today. These are my opinions. These aren't endorsed by NB Energy. So I uh, just want to give you guys a little update on uh, solar energy and what it can mean to you, what it is, if you guys want it, and if so, what you guys should look out for in securing uh, solar. So before I get into this, does anybody have solar in their house? Anybody buy solar? No? Nobody. Has anybody thought about it? Anybody thought about putting solar in their house? Couple people, good. So this will be especially pertinent to you two. As you guys might know, this is your typical residential solar installation. You put solar panels on a roof, and uh, it's very simple. When the sun hits those, they create a direct current, and it goes down here, and the energy that we use that comes out of our wall is alternating current. So you need to have an inverter there to convert that direct current to alternating current and then it goes to your meter, which is attached to your house. But not only do you have residential installations, you also have commercial and industrial installations. NB Energy just recently spent about $4 million installing uh, solar installations at such uh, nonprofits as the Boys and Girls Club and Ronald McDonald's House. Another part of solar energy is large scale, utility scale. Now, a lot of people think that NB Energy hates you to, uh, renewable energy, right? Well, I can be furthest from the truth. We have two different departments that deal with solar energy. One that does the small scale and one that does the utility scale. Why do we have so much interest in, in renewable energy? The cost has just dropped dramatically over the years. And it's just gotten so cheap that, combined with the fact that this is a solar irradiance chart that shows where solar is good, and you can see that the best spots for solar are right in here. And in the Reno area, it's actually really darn good. So we are a great place for solar. How does it work? Well, during the day, the solar panel, it creates the energy, it converts it to the, and sends it into the house but it also sends some of the energy out to the poles. And so it sends it out to, so other people can use it. At night, well, the sun's not hitting that solar panel anymore, right? So it's not generating any solar. So what you need to do is be connected to the power company and that power company will send energy back into your house. And this used to be really simple. You used to have one meter there. If uh, you take energy from the power company, then it would, go forward, and if you would send energy back to the power company, then that meter would spin backwards. And so whatever the meter read at the end of the month, it was that was what you used. That was the net energy used. And so that's why it's called net meter. So great, you say, but will I save any money? Well, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Some people do. Some people do. But you, Alex, probably won't. And I'll tell you why. It's not because we don't love you. <laughs> it is because our energy is so cheap here. Um, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a story. My buddy, Tom, he came to me and said, um, my cousins, they install solar power, so, solar power in California, and they tell me I need to stick solar on my house. And I need to quit my job and I need to start selling solar systems and installing people's houses. And Tom said, this didn't really jive with what my thoughts were. Gary, can you tell me about it? And it turns out that I just had a very similar conversation with another friend of mine in California. This friend, he uh, is served by PG&E, Pacific Gas and Electric. 
and his bills were $600 a month for his power. He installed solar, his power bill went down to $100 a month. So he was just ecstatic with it. He's um, gonna, at, with, with a $6,000 a year savings, he's gonna pay off his solar bill, I mean his, his cost of installing his solar in no time at all. So the problem is in Nevada, where he is, um, for 750 kilowatt hours of electricity, your bill would be about $83 a month. In SMUD, it's about $818 a month, even though they show 110 here. And where he is, it's $177. So he's paying about twice as much for his energy as we are. So that's why if he was here, his power bill would be less than $300 a month. So um, it's just really tough to make it pay off in, in Nevada because our residential rate is only nine cents for people that have put solar on their house years ago, if they sold power back to the power company, they would also get nine cents for that energy. Now, if you wanted to do it, you would get paid back about 88%. So about seven and a half cents for your energy. Now the problem comes about with new utility scale contracts. We're able to buy solar from utilities for about two and two and a half to three cents. So if you put it on your house, um, we're, MV Energy is paying you about two and a half to three times what we can buy it from a utility scale. So that's why um, utility companies are, you know, would, would rather buy it on a utility side because it's so much cheaper. You're getting some same, same solar energy from the sun and you're sending it out, but it's so much cheaper to buy it on a utility scale. Why is it so much cheaper? Well, it's kind of like these, right? You can buy a, a, a small amount of soft drink, and this six pack of this costs you $3. A 12 pack of that is, is $5. So it's so much cheaper to buy in bulk scale than it is on a small scale. So, well, why would you want to buy solar then? Well, why do people buy these little cans? because it has other values to it, right? And in this case, um, you might want to reduce your carbon footprint. Or, huh, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of good stuff right now. <laughs>